I guess nobody really does this much anymore, but my name is Kay, and I just moved across the street from you, and thought it'd be appropriate to say hi and introduce myself properly to the um, neighboring houses. Yep, that was me. Sorry, by the way for any unwanted, extra loud noise these past couple of days. See, my brother helped me move in, and <laughs> let's just say sometimes he's excessive when it comes to moving large items. Don't get me wrong, he's a great help, but he could technically do things a little quiet. Sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah. Before I get off track, I just wanted to introduce myself, and... Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm? Well, thank you. Do I know? Um... My lease for here is, I think, a minimum of two years, something like that. <laughs> but the person's a friend of mine, and they were very kind to offer it to me at the price that they gave me. So, chances are I might stick around for a while. <laughs> no, that uh, excessive loudness really truly only pertains to my brother. He comes around and visits, but he won't really be much of a problem if that's what you're worried about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I make sure he stays quiet when it's time to be quiet. As best I can, anyway. If I bother him enough, he will. <laughs> but it should be fine. I promise. I will do my best to make sure that this place doesn't change much. Except for the exception of one thing. Well, I guess two things? But they sort of fall under the same general category. I'm talking to myself. Anyway. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, yeah, I just, well, I'll let you know now, I absolutely love Christmas and decorating, so, fair warning, late into the night, your house may see beautiful bright twinkling lights on the exterior of my house, and some cute lawn decorations to match. No, no, I'm not excessive with it, fortunately. I just have a cute, uh, a couple of cute little figures that I like to place on the lawn. Big enough to make a statement, but not obnoxious enough to, um, to, you know, overwhelm the neighborhood, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no. Definitely not 20 meter tall, inflatable statue things of Santa Claus or anything like that. I make sure to do pretty thorough research on anything that I buy for decorations. <laughs> really? Nobody here really goes... Really? Interesting. Well, it's none of my business to, uh, ask why, but I don't know. I always think it's nice, fun, even borderline magical 
when you see a bunch of houses with a lot of lights, you know, to decorate. Are you ready for the season? I mean, my house is going to be ready for it. Nothing too crazy. You know, the classic Christmas tree, nice warm fire in the fireplace, obviously. <laughs> a couple of decorations here and there. I would quite like it. What about you? Hmm? Not much of a fan. Hmm? <laughs> well, the task and process of figuring out, um, what you want to buy is definitely, uh, a big one. But it, well, to me at least, it's really worth it. Especially if you like to, you know, help yourself get more into the mood with the, uh, celebration that's going on. Holiday, birthday, whatever. It's always just a nice little touch. At least I think so. Hmm? Just never got around to it? You don't have anyone to do it with. Well, that's completely fair. I don't want... Well, I wouldn't think anyone would want to do decorations on their own. Unless you enjoy being on your own like I do, but that's... Well, even I know that it's more fun when you're with people, with friends. <laughs> yeah. You know, this may be a bit forward of me, and you are completely free to slam the door in my face if you think it's ridiculous, but how would you feel if I helped you decorate your house? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant or over-the-top, either. <laughs> if you wanted your house to turn into a complete gingerbread mansion, I'll be happy to help with that, too. But, whether it's big or small, I think it'd be fun. Plus, it'd be a fun way for us to get to know each other. And then, after that, if you like, you could attend my little, I guess, Christmas party that I'll be hosting at my house for all of the neighbors, the close neighbors at least, and some other friends, if they'd like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, trust me. It'll be a big, albeit relaxed, ordeal. I already have the decorations up, of course, and the food plan. Like, I know what I'm going to cook, what to order, what my siblings and family are willing to help me with, which is very kind of them. Hmm? <laughs> Actually, I did. Before I moved out of my family's house, I would always help set up the yearly Christmas parties that my parents would host for family friends, business related things, and all of that stuff. So, needless to say, I loved planning and decorating and hosting nice gatherings for people. I think Christmas is probably one of the most enjoyable times for that to happen. I 
I have noticed the door is still wide open, and I haven't gotten hit by it yet, which is amazing. <laughs> by the way, you don't need to um, give me an answer right away if you don't feel the need to, or if you don't know if you want to yet. It's completely okay too if you don't feel like decorating your house or going all out, as they say. Sometimes it's nice to just have your house be your house, doing whatever you wish with it, be it decorating or not for any and all holidays. It's just an idea, I guess. And a little invitation, I, guess, I suppose, that I hope you'll consider. When is the party? Hmm, good question. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> what with Christmas coming up so closely and all, it might be Christmas Day itself, for all I know. Hmm. But I don't want you to be... Christmas the 23rd, or right before New Year's. I think that might be actually better. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you for your idea. Well, it's lovely to meet you, and to finally know your name. Yeah, of course. Take your time in thinking about it. And well, you'll see me every single day, setting up the tree. Uh, well, through the window, I guess. Setting up my Christmas tree and finishing up the lights outside and putting the lawn ornaments down, and if you ever need some, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. Oh, and not to try and entice you to um, come to my party, but I do have to say I make some mean gingerbread cookies, and they are absolutely Delicious. Yeah, really. I actually just finished making some. They're back at my house if you want to come and grab some. <laughs> Alright. Well, come with me. And if you like, I can also give you a house tour to my completely not over the top. Christmas decorated home. It is exactly what an eccentric Christmas celebrating person would say. And I do love Christmas, but <laughs> it's definitely not number one in my life, but it is a close second. And I like to try and celebrate it as best as I can with people I care about, friends and family alike, both ones I've known for a long time, and even new ones. Like you, hopefully. <laughs> but I'm rambling again. Come on. Let's go across the street, and I'll give you some cookies to take home. Oh, did I mention I have a pet cat? 